Burgers. Burgers, donuts, garum, kids' toys, donuts, red wine, grapes, kids' toys, garum. I mean, I think you've got to say really that the best things that sell are probably the donuts. Um, but you know, olive oil is quite popular as well because we don't we don't just use it obviously for cooking. Um, you know, we use it for washing ourselves, of course, and also for the uh, for the oil lamps at home. So yes, yeah, it's, it's quite a big seller really. Um, we do pretty well on that. And uh, you know, I'm down to my last bottle today already. So uh, yeah, it's been going all right. But I hope my day's going to finish soon. I wonder what the time is. I haven't got a sundial anywhere nearby. Hey, excuse me, mate. Excuse me. You've got time on you? Four o'clock, yeah? Smash it. That's me done. I'm out of here. I'm gonna dump this for the next year. Then I am off to the baths. Thought it would be a hot, sweaty day today, so I packed everything that I need. Just have a quick check. Uh, what have we got? Yeah, there we go. One of them. You know what one of those is. Strigil, right? keeping clean so you know we say about olive oil right? well, you rub it on your skin legs arms wherever you please and then you use this and it scrapes off all the dirt the dead skin the sweat leaves your skin really nice and soft great way of getting clean it sort of comes off in a great big greasy dirty blob there you are so I've got pick it's good for getting dirt out from underneath the fingernails or uh, bits of food in between the teeth I've got a pair of tweezers uh, good for getting splinters out or uh, plucking your eyebrows. Or perhaps you've got a really long nose hair that tickles your top lip. Great for ripping those out. And then I've got a little spoon. Now that's not for eating little food. It's not for picking your nose neither. That is for getting the wax out your ears. Right. And use it again and again and again. Roman recycling. Perfect. Uh, and then finally, ah, there you are. Right at the very top. My tesorium. I'm very particular. I don't like sharing. Now when I go down, I'm going to be nipping to the loo, and obviously, you know, in our toilets, there's no doors, okay, because doors keep smelling, keep smelling, you get a disease and then you drop dead, okay, and you can talk to anybody on the toilet as well, you know, it's quite a social event, so, I don't know, you are right, mate, see the chariot race last night, yeah, I did, it was alright, you know, that sort of thing, catch up on the day's events, perfect, anyway, once you've done what you need to do, you get your sponge, Little channel of water, dip it in the water, okay, and wipe your bum. <laughs> Probably need to go again. Mm -hmm. And then what you would normally do in a public toilet is you would put this back in the pot in the middle of the room for the next person to use. That's why I don't like sharing. Now, the pot in the middle of the room, to be fair, has got vinegar in it, and that kills off most of the germs. The thing you need to remember, though, is to definitely put this in the channel of water before you put it straight up your bum, because if you don't with the vinegar, it don't have steam, and you only do it once. So, I am set for an evening of rest and relaxation in the bus. And then I might go and take in a show, maybe at the theatre or go and sit a couple of gladiators beat each other up or something like that. Not dinner for me tonight, I think it's street food all the way. See ya.